It's a trial that has gripped the nation. 13 years after the massacre at a stadium in the Ghanaian capital Conakry, journalists at this radio station are closely following, as former military and government officials, including the ex-dictator Moussa Dadi's camera, answer for their role in the attack. This trial is educational for the population precisely because justice can take its course and we can know the crimes that any citizen, including the Ghanaian state, are accused of. In cafes across Conakry, people are watching the trial live on television. Kamara is accused of being behind the attack at the opposition rally, during which over 150 people died and more than 100 women were raped. Not only is it to enlighten the people, but it also establishes responsibility so that the innocent are not condemned and it also educates the current leaders and lets them know that no one is above the law. This is the first time we've seen such a trial in Conakry, and it will also give credibility to our justice system. The others will get their act together so as not to hurt the people of Guinea anymore. As the historic trial continues at a special court in the capital, under the spotlight of the media and the people of Guinea, there's hope that it will finally bring the truth to light and give some peace to families of victims of the massacre and a new vision for the country in which impunity will no longer have a place.